The meters are absolutely safe. They use radio frequency uh, to communicate, uh, just like radios and televisions. They've been confirmed safe by the Provincial Health Officer, the World Health Organization, and Health Canada. Uh, customers who do have specific questions about their individual health circumstances can consult with their doctor or the Provincial Health Authority uh, to have their questions answered. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we'll delay the installation of the meter until the customer has the information that they need. So first of all, this is the old meters that we're replacing, and about, um, I'm, I'm guessing 10 years ago, and I don't have the date right, we actually went to solid state metering, not smart metering. It's just a solid state version of this, so the analogy we use, this is the old wind up Timex watch. And then we went to a bit of a um, the, the digital Timex watch, and then we introduced these devices right here. So the evolution is electromechanical, just solid state, and then smart meters. So what this brings is it's all of this with the intelligence of a smartphone. So it has communications in here. It has a much larger microprocessor. It has the ability to record things such as outages that we spoke to, and I'll actually describe how that works. It has the ability to send information into the home so consumers can have access to information in an in-home display or on a web portal, we'll talk about that. It also sends information back to BC Hydro. So it has two radios. So this is a shot of BC Hydro detecting in real time where there's power outages occurring on account of having smart meters deployed. So as soon as there's a power outage, we're actually seeing where the instances occur in real time off the screen. 